Okay, y'all, I am here in Boston. We're going out, me, my cohort. Um, actually, let's do a, ow. Ugh. Let's do a what I'm wearing. Okay, Annie, come in here. Okay. So we're gonna do a little um, try on Annie. Everyone meet my roommate, Annie. Yes, where are you from, Annie? El Paso, Texas. Okay. I'm and a former Miss El Paso. Yeah. Okay, so I'll go first. The shirt is Forever 21. The jeans are riding up. <laughs> the jeans are boohoo. Okay, the shoes are old, but they're Shein. Okay. Cute. The um, purse is Telfizi. The rings are probably Forever 21 as well. The earrings might be Shein or Boohoo. Yes, the face is Joy and Ronnie. So I don't have my glass on, so don't judge, but any you next. Okay. My shirt is from Express. Cute. I got for Camille's birthday, my other BFF. These jeans I got from Dillard's. They're Levi's. Mm, I love a Levi's. Got them. They were, I think they were $50. Okay. And I bought them for a date. <laughs> and then a few weeks later, the guy told me he wanted to be single. So, okay. <laughs> whatever. Do so I have the jeans? Shoes, formerly belonging to Christina Jefferson. I don't know Which where they're formerly from. belonged to my mom. No way. Which formerly belonged to her friends. So, <laughs> they've like the, they passed That's out. crazy. Okay. Yeah. Necklace. This is from Kendra Scott. Pandora. Sawarski. Mm. I think. Some jewelry place, and this is also mm. Kendra Scott. Oh, Face I my other earrings. beat. Face beat to the gods. We are going. Actually, I cannot keep doing this like no Do gloss no. thing. Um, Annie, you can hold it while we discuss okay. where we're going. We're going to this place called Howl at the Moon. It's um, somewhere we haven't been, but we're going for our med school class. Like they're going out this weekend, so we are going out too. Annie begrudgingly. Yeah. Better. Christina is much years. more social than I am. Um, um but we're so still gonna she have a good drags time. me out. Yeah. But, but the whole you know what? going sunglasses or no sunglasses, like cringe or I think it's fun and then I think it leads to great photos yeah, and stuff later I on too. in the evening. Okay, so. we're gonna go with the sunglasses. So we're going out. Okay. I wanted to start off this vlog with us going out because I wanted to show everyone that med school students can still have fun. Granted we haven't started We haven't yet. started school. But we're still gonna have fun throughout the year. We're just gonna have a good time tonight. I probably won't document it, but you know, we'll check back in tomorrow and say how we felt about the night. Okay, well, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Annie's getting ready for her day, but how did you feel about Last yesterday? Night? Did you have a good night? Um, I think ultimately it was more fun than I thought. I felt like you were dragging me out. Yeah. And ultimately at a great time. Right. Four dollar drinks. Right. Come on. Can't beat it. Yeah. Okay, so I need to figure out what I'm gonna do for the week. But unfortunately, my planner, which was overnighted by my dad, was not sent in time. Even though it was overnighted on Friday, it's Sunday and I still don't have it for some reason. I'm just gonna write it out on this notebook, like a to-do list of things I need to do. Um, I'm trying to just be a more organized person. Um, but we'll just see how that goes, so. Oh, the pencil breaks immediately. Bad sign. Okay, so I need to email some people. Good. Charge my iPad and my pencil for school tomorrow. Download lectures. Look at kickoff case. Maybe I can find a book to read. I feel like my mind hasn't been stimulated enough without a book. If you guys want to know, I'm an avid, you know, reader. Um, so I'm going to find a book, I'm going to charge my battery camera, I'm going to make my Amazon cart for just essentials, I'm going to charge my iPad, download the lectures, look at the kickoff case, explain the curriculum to myself and to y'all so you can like kind of follow what my week will look like and then find a book for myself. I feel like there's more to do but I'll just add it as it goes on so i'll check in with you guys later i'm 
about to go eat and then come back to this but i've only done one thing on my list and it's been a few minutes and i'm feeling like eh. but it's okay because i'm gonna get them all done tonight right right i need to start keeping lists of what i need in life because i feel like i just am living my life like it's golden without really thinking about what i need to what i need to do and so when i think of stuff i'm going to start writing it down like oh you need this or oh you need this because right now i don't have really anything in my name uh, my parents sent me money but uh, i need to use it i just want to let y'all know that i've been listening to beyonce renaissance for literally like well since it came out and i am a part of the beehive i'm a stan i love this album if you didn't love this album maybe you don't have taste i don't know there's nothing to not love but i'm going to now explain what the actual curriculum change is okay so the curriculum has changed at boston and we're the inaugural class for the curriculum change which is a little bit intimidating let me turn this down <laughs> it's supposed to be like a very integrative learning style and it's supposed to encourage long-term retention which is the point of the curriculum change so hopefully this method not just hopefully statistically and in the historically when people have used this method of learning it has allowed people to have a longer term or have a long-term retention rate that they didn't have before the guided self-learning looks kind of like this let me show you so the guided self-learning will look something like this it'll be pictures writing um they'll have videos too that you can watch it's in the same format as a flipped classroom that's what we'll be doing for that the kickoff cases are basically um patient cases that we'll see and it'll have big picture prompting questions to kind of give us a feel for what the um what the curriculum i mean what the subject matter will be the guided self-learning is supposed to be like self-assessment questions to see like where you're at but you're teaching yourself basically my night is done i might go upstairs and visit some friends but that's really it so since it is sunday night i'm gonna go visit some friends in their room and justin and shiloh are roommates they're in my program so i'm gonna go see them Let me in, let me in. Hello. Hey, Welcome to my home. <laughs> uh, why don't you guys introduce yourselves to um, the vlog? Hey guys, Shiloh Dawson. Okay. Um, B U S M. Yeah. M1, <laughs> class of 26. Period. You know, come from Daryl Moore House. Okay. From the Virgin Islands, by yeah. the way of Atlanta, Georgia. Right. You know, not British as well, isn't it? So. Oh, yeah, you all me too. All right, Justin. Hey, hey guys, my name is Justin. Graduate from Morehouse College, HBCU yeah. grad. Yeah. Um, medical school student now, M1. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I'm just eating yeah. in my abode. What's on your laptop? Spot. Can I show the people? Yeah, you know, I'm trying to set a schedule for my workout plan. Oh, period. Six, well, we were in the gym by 6 a.m. Yeah. So. We started our earlier morning routine. Yes, so. yes. So, these are my friends. We just vibe out together, right? Too. Yeah, we have a good time. Um, we all live in the same apartment. Before, the three of us lived in the same dorm, 202. Yeah. Yes, yes a great time. Um, so, yeah, I'm just here to chill since we have, like, a chill day before the week starts. So you talk about yesterday's I didn't. Um, I told them, like, me and Annie did a little fit check, but I, I didn't tell them, like, what actually, uh -huh. yeah. How did you feel about yesterday? It was very exciting. Okay. Um, 
I met a lot of new people. Shallow, how'd you feel? Um, I really enjoyed it, honestly. You know? Okay. It was something different for me. Yeah. But different is always good sometimes. Yeah, yeah. That's different always is always good, good sometimes. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's conditional. Now. Right, it's okay. It's always good, but this okay. sometime was a great time. I enjoyed myself around you all. I met new people, as Justin said. Yeah. It was a great yeah. time. Did great I remember time. their name? No. But give us a few weeks and we'll know everybody's names, right? Yes. Right. Definitely will. Okay, well, you guys, I'll check back in with you maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We just go where the wind takes us. So, all right. Good morning. It is 5.50, and I need to be in the gym by 6 o'clock. Um, I'm trying to be a little bit quiet, or I should be more quiet, because Annie is sleeping. But, yeah, I'm going to go downstairs, work out for a little bit, and then get ready for the day. First floor. Hey y'all, just finished. Um, Justin's still working out. Takaya's getting it over there. So yeah, it's gonna be a great day. Not everybody was able to come today, but it's it's hard to wake up at six in the morning. And they've come on days that I haven't come, so I cannot judge. Emergency, trying to keep my vitamin C up because a lot of people are getting sick in my class with COVID. We're walking to Walgreens because Annie and I feel some <laughs> symptoms. I felt okay. so much better though this morning. I felt... I'm like, Christina, can I be honest with you? <laughs> yeah, Annie comes to me saying, Let me tell you something. Um, I kind of have an itchy throat, and I'm like, Oh, me too. But then I felt better in the morning so i'm like okay i'm just gonna I go like, felt you felt worse Not worse, but like, i felt that's better like my mind. That's, that's what i was telling Christina. well i, I know notice. because that's happened to me when somebody told me they had covid i started getting the I symptoms it but it was just placebo like it wasn't you real yeah so either way we don't know if we have covid or not but myself annie and another girl in our cohort kiana all have scratchy throats like we didn't fake the scratchy throat yeah so multiple people in our class have COVID. So we're just gonna go um, and try to see if we have it. We're taking a rapid, which is notoriously inaccurate, but that's all we have access to right now. So, so we think we have COVID again. So we're gonna take our test um, and see what the results are. So. Then you stick it. Uh. And now we wait. Yay, yay, yay. Negative. I want you to have it too. <laughs> Girl. Uh. So Annie, that's COVID. I feel crazy. Like I feel like an itchy throat. I feel stuffy, but my test showed up negative. So, and I can't get a PCR right now. Um, I'm gonna take a test in the morning first to make sure that like, if I have any viral protein shedding that they might get picked up in the morning, but yeah, it's gonna be a rough week. Good morning. I'm about to take um, this COVID test and see if I'm okay. You can't see real faint i don't think y'all can see that but yeah i'm positive i just need it that makes life a lot easier because i didn't want to have to avoid any um that was going to be a real nuisance but i'm gonna have to email a professor saying that i tested positive for covid it is like almost nine o'clock i'm about to call the health service uh, and which I'm sorry, I cannot stop looking at myself, but, but I'm about to call the health service and I'm going to tell them I have COVID. Then they're going to tell me to isolate for five days 
and yeah i email my professors i'm gonna join via zoom my doctoring session which i kind of thought they would let me off but i guess that's not how real life works so i'm probably gonna sleep wake up do some modules some self-guided learning i mean and then i'll join the doctoring so check with you later i look crazy I'm going to have to go to my um, doctoring class over Zoom at 1, and it's like 12, ooh, it's 12.51. So, yeah, I'm just chilling here, and I'm about to get ready for my class, so I'll check in with you guys later. But we have to know what we know and what we don't know and have a way to kind of bridge that knowledge gap, okay? Okay, so I got in my doctoring session. I just ate dinner. So I'm gonna do some work. I'll probably do the makeup work and then I'll try, well, okay, I'm gonna do the makeup work and I'm gonna do the slugs or the self-learning guides. And the self-assessment for the self-learning guides is due Wednesday. So I'm just gonna try to figure out my calendar for the week. Um, my doctoring session was really good because this is the first time we've really like applied. We haven't even learned anything, but this is the first time that we've like been able to feel like real doctors so basically for the doctoring session we learn about things like you know how to take somebody's medical history how to interview um what to say like if somebody says something like offensive to you or what to do in different patient scenarios and so today we had like a right ankle sprain as our case and we were able to discuss it and like even a little thing like the patient fell and so that's why she sprained her ankle but like we had to look and see with her heart rate like was her heart rate irregular and was there something wrong with her heart and that's why she fell like did she you know go into some type of like I don't know y'all I'm telling you I don't know what happened like well I know what happened in the case we explored it she didn't have any heart issues but I can't tell you terms and stuff like that because I just don't know and some of my classmates would be like oh like let me look at a word that I wrote down I don't I don't even know they'd be like um is her foot edematic and like these are terms that I've never heard before, but maybe somebody who worked within like, like there are people in my class who were CNAs before this, or, you know, EMTs, like have a lot more clinical experience or even shadowed more than I did. Sometimes it's a little bit like, dang, I don't know anything. But oftentimes like they don't really, like people know that you don't know everything and your professors know that like it's not necessarily a judge of if you're going to be a good doctor if you don't know everything right now something is off okay yeah so yeah i'm just i know i look rough but this is a covid but i'm going to try to catch up um stay on the high that i got from doctoring and like try to feel productive i'm going to play some beyonce but sometimes the music distracts me and sometimes it helps me so if the music distracts me which beyonce might so we'll try it because Renaissance is just that album. Like, if it distracts me, I'll change to something more chill. But yeah, for now, I will be catching up. So, I'll check back in with y'all when I'm done. Right now, it's 6.22, so by 9, I wanna figure some stuff out so I can wind down, watch some Love Island. I wanna watch like two episodes while I have a little bit more downtime, but one of my assignments is watching an hour long video. So let's just see. So I haven't started, but it's okay. Because I, the night is still young and I have time to start. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna start right now. I'm gonna start right now. I'm gonna start. Sometimes it takes a while for people to get it together, but what matters is that they get it together and not when they got it together, right? I think that makes sense. Take two of starting again, of starting my work. And yeah, you know, we fall down, but we get up, okay? So, is this unfocused or do I not have glasses on? Can't tell. Oh, fix it, right? Okay, I is now seven. 
22. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make myself some green tea because my throat is irritated. Got this lemon tea and some honey and that'll make me feel better. Is it wasting time? Maybe, but it's not wasting time if it's to make you feel better, which will ultimately make you more productive, so. Measure that, you know, the logical or illogical conclusion is you're gonna end up narrowing the sidewalk and there's no space for- Then, in 1984, the guidelines changed, effectively forcing the MBTA to redo portions of its study. The federal government was unwilling to commit more funds to rail projects in the neighborhood. <laughs> You put on eyes on you when you perform. Ooh, baby, I think I'm like, let's just be clear. I did nothing that I said I was going to do today. Um, it's okay. I did nothing I said I was going to do. I don't feel defeated because I know I have time tomorrow. But, yeah. We'll try again tomorrow, okay?